Hey there, Joseph R. Long, the Sumo Size Ginger, coming at you today. And today, I want to talk to you about putting yourself in starvation mode. Be sure to hit that subscription button below if you'd like to see more videos like this. So when it comes to weight loss, there's this thing that's called starvation mode. Now what starvation mode is, is once your body reaches the point where it has no more energy, you quit losing weight. It's like it's hard coded into us so we don't eat the muscles of our body. And yes, if you're trying to lose weight, you don't want to do it too quickly. If you lose weight too quickly, you're actually endangering yourself and getting yourself ready to go into that starvation mode. But I'm here to let you in on a little secret. It's not as easy as you think it is to go into starvation mode. It's not going to be a one or a two day fast that throws you into starvation mode. And I have an article linked here that you can actually look at that'll explain how it works. Basically, all the fat in my body is an energy source. I've already eaten it. It's something my body can draw upon with no ill effects. And in fact, the whole point of a diet is to take and put yourself in a calorie deficit so that you lose weight. Now then, if you saw my last weigh video, you see that I weigh 674 pounds. I have a lot of energy to burn before I ever have to worry about being in starvation mode. Add on top of that, that what I do is I go hungry for two days to make it so that I can eat food that I enjoy on the third day and still maintain that calorie deficit. No matter what you do, if you don't go into a calorie deficit, you're just not gonna lose weight. It's impossible. That's why some people work out all the time in order to be in a calorie deficit and still enjoy their life. A great example of this is Eric the Electric. If you've never heard of him, you should check him out. But starvation mode is something that comes over you over time. When you have no other energy for your body to burn, when your fat stores are gone, and you're dependent on your muscles to power your brain. And in fact, your average human with an 18% body fat can go two months before they throw themselves into starvation mode in some cases. And here's the thing with starvation mode. It is very personal. Everyone reacts with it differently. Fasting itself is not dangerous. And in fact, I can show you many studies that show it's very regenerative for your body to go without eating. Throw on to that, that at the end of the day, when you look at my weekly pattern, I'm averaging about 2,000 calories a day. All it is is really restricting myself during certain days so that I can eat more high calorie foods that I enjoy, like hamburgers. It's all a give and a take, people. You can't have success without sacrifice. And I'm telling you, once you start, it becomes a lot easier than you think your body falls into the pattern of your eating cycle. So when I was looking at diets, I considered two different ones. I could fast, like I have now, or I could have gone with what's called the gastric bypass diet. Heck, I could probably get a gastric bypass, though I don't want one. I believe I can do it without the use of invasive medical techniques. And if you look at a gastric bypass diet, a lot of it has to do with calorie restriction and really limiting how much you eat. Once again, it comes down to maintaining a calorie deficit. So I'm pretty sure I'm not in any danger of going into starvation mode, y'all. Having said that, like I said, I'm in regular contact with my doctor, and if he tells me differently, I'm gonna change my approach. This is why in my last video, I mentioned that you should speak to your doctor about whether or not it's a good option for you. So check out the link that I have in the description here. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that subscription button below. And I'll see you guys next time. You have a great one.